Hello there, my name is Tom Harris. I'm out in uh, Congress Orthopedics in Pasadena, California. Also the Chief of uh, Foot and Ankle Orthopedics at Harbor UCLA. And I want to go over a case with you guys regarding ligament-specific fixation for syndesmosis injuries. So here you have a 28-year-old female with a fracture dislocation. You can see there's a large posterior malleolar fragment there and a posterior subluxation of the talus on the tibia. Uh, looking closer, you can see a high fibular fracture as well, and as mentioned, the distal tibial fracture. So now what? The fibular fracture looks pretty well aligned. I'm not sure we necessarily need to fix that. But what's going to be our approach here, and what kind of fixation are we going to look for? So whenever I see a trimalleolar or an ankle fracture dislocation, I'll often get a CT scan. And this is what the CT scan shows. It shows that large posterior malleolar fragment with some level of comminution. And you can see how high up it extends there on the CT scan and how medial it extends as well. And so for this case, we started off in the prone position. We fixed the posterior malleolus with a standard ORIF with a third tubular plate. We were careful to leave one of those holes open to allow passage of a tightrope later. And then we closed up the posterior lateral approach and then we're able to flip the patient supine. And then from the supine approach, we're able to place a tightrope to reconstruct, repair the interosseous component of the syndesmosis. And then we also placed an anterior inferior tib-fib ligament internal brace. So we've essentially fixed all three components of the syndesmosis. The posterior malleolus was fixed with the plate, interosseous component was fixed with the tightrope, and then the anterior portion of the inferior tib-fib ligament was repaired with the AITF. And so there's two incisions there, so you really need a bit of a wide skin bridge there, and really turned out nicely here. So we can see here, no proximal fibular ORF was needed. I thought the alignment and the reduction was excellent, and then we can see our final construct in that area on both the lateral and the AP. So as the summary here is the, the posterior mal was fixed with the plate, interosseous ligament was fixed with the tightrope, and then the AITF was fixed with the internal brace. So we essentially have ligament-specific fixation for this case, and I think it's something we're going to look to more specifically um, in terms of an earlier rehab and just being certain that we fixed all components of the syndesmosis. Thank you.